Wait, published by Nintendo? I thought we've already done this. I did this like 63 episodes ago. Oh yes! Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI. But BCS Buster, you already completed the game. What possibly could be going on? Well, after you've done the game and got the end sequence, if you restart the game and, con and select continue your adventure, whoa! There's a star beside it, just like there was in the Let's Replay of Dragon Quest IV and of Dragon Quest V. Yeah, there's post-game content. As if you're surprised there's post-game content. All right, let's go. Wait, uh-huh. Thank you very much, but wait, wait, who's all in the, who's all in my party? Wow, this is interesting. So, yeah, just a minute, let me just pull up my notes here. Yeah. We gotta protect the world, and that's that. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, so we're back here. Yes. Oh, it's completely fine. I'm completely a star. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, no, we're here back in Somnia, and yeah, there's post-game content. Now, do you remember how there was, um, do you remember how there was, at the very end of the game, uh, there was something that Terry found in the cave? Well, that's the first thing we're going to go tackle today. So, uh, oh yeah, actually, I just want to go back to All Trades Abbey and get my party all. Actually, do you have a hermit set? Yeah, you do. Okay, great. I don't believe we can... Oh, sorry. First thing we need to do is switch worlds, so let's do that. We need to head to the dream world. Now, remember here... Um, actually, while I'm here in Altrade's Abbey, let me get my party all... Let me get my party all switched up. I'm going to get Healy back in. I'm going to get my vocations all going. Let me do that real fast. I'll be right back. Okay, I got all my vocations back, and I got this just in case we run into some random battles to what we're going to be doing next. So, uh, back to being a paladin, martial artist. Uh, BCS Buster is going to remain hero for the rest of the game. Um, and then I got Ashlyn back on warrior, because I'm having to work on that. And I got Millie back into the party. Healy's um, outlived her usefulness. So, all right. Now, next thing we want to do is let's use the Celestial Reigns. And I actually want to head to... Oops, wait, no, hold on. Hold on. Forgot an important step. I want to warp to uh, Somnia in the Dream World. I think it's funny that even the even though the Dream World has faded, um, I can still access it in post game. In the post game, so that's kind of weird, I guess. But anyways, we want to head back to Amor. Now remember, you can't access Amor. Uh, by using the Hermes hat in the dream world, which I think is kind of odd, but we can access it. Indeed. All right, very nice. Uh, you can a you can still access it here. Okay, now we want to go back to that cave um, that we found earlier in the game. So hang on just a minute here. It would help if I actually went to the cave and not to Amor itself. Oh, wait. I'll figure it out eventually. Okay. Well, let's head downstairs. All right. And now we want to go... Here, I believe. Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, hold on. Sorry. I need to go over to this side. There we go. Okay, let's see how we do. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to go back and just whoop some ass, you know what I mean? Okay, now I believe we now want to go on this one. Now, you remember the path that Terry took? I believe it was here. Notice how there's that metal object that we found there. And if we go find this object, we get... Whoa! We get the Liquid Metal Mind, and what that does, it just allows one character to becoming a Liquid Metal Slime. Now, that is crazy, and we're actually going to be needing that 
um, to, to deal with the final boss. So we'll be dealing with that in just a minute. So, uh, okay, let's get out of here. So there's a couple other things that we can do today before getting into what I really want to do. Revan, get us out of here. All right. Now, uh, next thing that we want to do is... And let's see here. We want to head to Sweet Dreams. All right. Let's head inside. Whoa, who's this? No? No? <laughs> yeah, right. Sure. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, she's my friend too. Wait, Curie? Like Marie Curie? Wait, what? And just like that, we've got a new party member. Wow. Just like, yeah, just like that, we got a new party member. That's kind of cool. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, great. Well, let's go, um... I guess let's go get Curie in the party. Because we actually need... Uh, we actually need Curie to do this next part. So, Millie's time was short-lived, which is fine. I just wanted to get her, uh, I wanted to get her back just in case. So, let's leave a party member, and we're going to drop off Millie. Yep. Great. Uh, no. So, now, let's go ahead and add a party member. And now we've got Curie, who is... Not bad. Uh, <sighs> Curie's kind of an odd case because Curie's one of the f only uh, party members that can learn Omni Heal, uh, but she doesn't learn until level thirty-six. So unfortunately, Curie's kind of useless. I think, anyways. Starts off with full heal, which is kind of nice, I suppose, but um, doesn't really help us here. So, uh, okay, just a second here. Okay. So while we're here, we might as well get Curie a vocation. Not that it really matters, because I'm not going to be using him. Her. Whatever the, heal, whatever the cure slime is. Yeah, let's change vocation. And let's get... Shocking, we're going to get Curie rocking as a priest. So we can start... Um, eventually we want to make Curie a sage. But, uh... Yeah, I might as well get her going on a priest, so she has a little more HP while we're building levels. There you go. By the way, if you want to use uh, Healy permanently, you certainly can. Uh, I would make Healy a sage, uh, and leave Healy as a sage once once you've mastered that vocation. And just leave Healy as a sage for the rest of the game, because it has the most MP boost, so... There you go. All right. Well, now that we've got um, Curie in the party, let's head back to the real world. And now I want to head to the Fashion Forge. So let's do that. Whee! However, we don't want to actually use the Fashion Forge. We actually want to just jump in the ship here. And... It's been a while since we've used Laura Lee's harp. Who has it? Oh, wait. Does BCS Buster have it? Who has it? Can't even remember who's got it. Huh. Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm sure it's somewhere in my inventory. There it is. There we go. And now we just want to go right here. Remember this area? Yeah. Got this. Hey, there's a slime right there. Let's see who that is. Uh huh. Oh, I see. Yes. Oh, I see. 
Yeah, so that's how you know. That's how you know where to uh, where to go there. Oh, I forgot to put Kiri in the party. But yeah, I just want to show you that little bit of dialogue there. So let's get into uh, Let's throw Kiri in the party. Again, if you want to get Kiri going, you can. But I don't think he learns Omni Heal to like level 36. Yep, we're here. Nope. Okay, yeah, 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 okay, fine. Sure did. Yep. Uh huh. Wait. Great! Awesome! Goo lad to meet you! What? Uh, great! And now we've got another recruit. What the hell is going on here? This is very strange. But now we've got two more recruits on the party, so that's good. Huh. Interesting. Okay. And awesome. And let's resurface. Because we need to go back, and I, I think you need to pick up uh, Curie and Shelly before you can do this, I think. So let's go back to the dream world. And I believe we want to enter, we want to en head back to Sweet Dreams. So let's do that. Whee! And we want to head in here. Yeah, we remember all this, and this is all good. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that. But no, there's an area back here that we can check out. Let's do that. Yeah, we've got this area here. And, whoa! Hey! It's a liquid metal slime! Hello? Hey, come back here! Yeah, I remember this. You get back here. Let's see if we can get some help here. Uh huh. Well, let's keep trying to get him. Come back here. Get back here, you. Ah, there we go. Uh-huh. Sure. Got it. Yes. Remember we had to do this before when we had to capture the horse? We had to capture Piggy Sue? Oh, yeah, you're trapped now, punk. Ha-ha! Yeah. Let's get him. One, two, five. Three, sir. Three. Got it. Uh-huh. What? Well, mercury, liquid metal, makes it... Just like that, we've got a liquid metal slime in our party, too. What the hell is going on here? Sure thing. This is very strange. Okay, well, let's go check up on our new companions and see what they can do. Let's just get right out of here. Let's go see what our new party can do. Who's up for a party? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. And we've got all the folks. Now watch this. Woo! This is crazy. So Mercury, our liquid metal slime, starts out with 300 agility, 500 resistance, 500 defense, but 1 HP. 
Very, very interesting. So, again, this is, so, you know how liquid metal slimes, they tend to be hard to kill and all that kind of good stuff. Well, now that we have one on our party, you can see, like, incredible defense, incredible resilience. Like, this is really, really, really cool. And we've got heal slime. Here's Shelly, um, good at initial attack and defense. We eventually want to make Shelly Shelly a paladin if you want, if you end up using her. Uh, and Kingsley, of course, um, we've got there. So yeah, we've got our full complement of slimes on our team. So so that's kind of cool. Okay, sorry about that. I had a little glitch there. So all right, very 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 good. All right, so let's drop off Curie there. All right, awesome. Uh, no, I think we'll bring Millie back into the party, I think. Oops. Let's bring Millie back into the party. So there you go. Awesome. Very, 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 very nice. All right. We're now in good shape. So this is all very, very good. So, okay. Now, those are kind of the other first main things we can do. But what can we do next? Or what should I do next? Okay. Well, before I explore the next part and really the last main dungeon of the post-game stuff, I do want to go ahead and finish off the bestiary just for fun. Uh, and it'll give me a chance to work on some more vocations and all that kind of good stuff. So, so you see here, if you use the big book of beasts, you can see uh, we've got some enemies that we still need to defeat. So it's 33, but I somehow have not defeated enemy 34 or 35. So I'm going to go and just start taking out some of these enemies so you can see them. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun to just basically just go out and whoop some ass and work on some vocations at the same time, which is uh, always fun. So, first thing we need to do is I believe we need to head into the real world to find number 34. So, let's switch worlds. I wish it would allow me to pick a destination uh, in the real world without having to switch worlds first. But we want to start by heading to Ghent. that. Alright, now I'm going to go just walk around until I find the enemy that I want to find. Hopefully the encounter... Actually, wait. Really? Ah, there's the enemy I'm looking for. The loathsome... Loathsome Leak. Yeah. So, at this point in the game, obviously it's just... Just taking everything down real quick. Wow. Even against the, even when they defend, they don't do a lot of damage. Wow, it's pretty good. Eh, but he let down his guard for just one second. Hey, but around here apparently this works, and you can upgrade your your abilities, so that's cool. And Lizzie gains a new ability. Ooh, thin air, that's nice. Cool. All right, very good. Okay. Well, now we want to head back to the um, switch worlds. Whee! Now, uh, we want to head to Somnia. I keep thinking... Well, it's because she did have the Hermes hat. All right, BCS Buster, do your thing. Whee! There we go. All right, very nice. Let's head inside here. This is where we found the liquid metal mine before. Hopefully, that will allow us to do the same thing. All right. Oops. Stop it. All right, you're up. Ah, there's the enemy I'm looking for, the Rotten Cotton. I had to go down to the second floor to find him. But, yeah, no problems there. We can take him out pretty quickly. And the Rotten Cotton, they have bone steak. That's not really useful, but it's something. Okay, great. Now, let's see, where do we need to go next? Okay, I'm now outside of Sweet Dreams, where I found Curie, uh, as well as Mercury. So, let's see if I can find an enemy. Now, there it is, right, on the, right off the bat, the enemy I was looking for, the Dark Boy. Right, we'll take them down quickly. It is fun to go back and destroy old enemies. I think, anyways. There you go. Good job. All right. Next stop for us is, uh, let's see, let's switch worlds. Yeah. And if you ever are not sure 
uh, what enemies you need. There are plenty of guides where you can look it up and um, see where everything is and which ones you need. All right, we want to head to Turnscope for this one. Whee! All right. Oh, it didn't really matter, I don't think. Well, I fought some noble gas baggins and took him out, and when Ashland's warrior level increases. Fine. Hey, and BCS Buster's hero level increases. At level three, I think that's where he would learn, the hero learns Zap. Um, but he already has it, so there you go. Uh, here's the enemy I'm looking for, the model She Slime. So, obviously we'll take him down pretty quick. Good shot, BTS Buster. Yeah, there you go. No problems there. Hey, a level for Devin. I'll take it. Okay. Next place we're off to is Mount Snowware. I haven't been there in a while. I'm gonna check it out. All right. And Millie, do your thing. Well, I'll take a level for Terry. I wasn't expecting it, but cool. All right, try that again. I'll take a level for BCS Buster, too. Ashlyn's warrior level increases. Ooh, and Nevin's armamentalist level increases. And he learns bound. That could be helpful. All right. Carver's martial art level increases. And he has maxed out that vocation. That's great. Um, okay, I'm not having much luck uh, with this. So I'm going to try a different place. And sometimes that happens. Uh, so I'm going to try heading over to Felonia. Let's see if I have more luck over there. I promise I'll get uh, Carver's vocation changed here in a minute. But I do want to get this this one uh, enemy done. Nope, stop it. Okay, there's the enemy I'm looking for, the Chomposaurus. All right. It took me a while to find him, but I finally did. All right, nice. All right, we're take him down. We can defeat enemies pretty quickly. There you go. All right, very good. All right, uh, let's head over to All Trades Abbey and let us uh, figure out the vocation I want to get next for Carver. Okay, well, now that I've mastered the uh, martial art vocation with Carver, I could go make him a gladiator. And if, if I was, uh, if you're still playing this and he's mastered these two by now before you've gotten to this point in the game, go ahead and make him a gladiator and max that out. However, because we're almost near the end of the game, and I need to get him working on this, and he's the character I want to do this. Wait, oh, hold on. Just kidding, hold on a minute. I want to make Carver into a liquid metal slime, and he's gonna be the one that does this, and that's gonna be very important for the final battle of this game. And we'll talk about that here in a little bit. So, let's change vocation. So basically, Carver, not only has he become a dragon and mastered that, but now he's becoming one of the best, well, it's, it's, it's a unique one, the Liquid Metal Slime. Now look at those changes in stats, like that's kind of crazy. His agility is uh, doubled, his resilience is doubled. All these things are, are, are happening to him. So basically he's gonna become uh, really, really, really hard to hit. So let's do it. And the next thing that we want to do with this is we're now going to want to um, max this out as well. Um, and the reason that he's going to be doing that is because um, of that along with forbearance is basically, well, when you max this out, it basically grants him immunity to basically everything. So he's pretty much going to be immune to almost everything. So that's going to make him just even more of a tank. So that's going to be really helpful. So uh, let's see. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, so let's get back to work. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's head back to the real world now. I'm gonna go knock out a couple of undersea enemies. Because a lot of the enemies now, uh, we can't... Several of the enemies we can't deal with until uh, we get to the next dungeon. Spoiler alert, there's another dungeon. So, uh, we wanna deal with that. We'll deal with that when we get there. All right, well, let's head on this way. Let's see if we can find the enemies I'm looking for. Yeah, well, I don't think these are them, but I'll show you the liquid metal slime in action. Yeah, so it doesn't do bad. His agility's a lot higher now, which is for Carver is amazing. But, okay. And we wanna head back to the well south of Altrade's Abbey. Okay, well, I don't know if I've shown off this enemy here, the Plated Gortus. I can't remember if I have or not. Well, we'll find out. Okay, these guys, these guys are pretty straightforward. There you go. There you go. God, she just whaps him upside the head. It's great. Okay, cool. is about good. Ah, here's one of the enemies I'm looking for. Octavian Sentries. Yeah, so this is the max level of this vocation. So it's under a blade, and let's take him down. Yeah, so Carver's gonna end up being the tank, mostly for the final battle. And you'll see what's gonna happen when we get there. Nice. Good job. Good job, everybody. Hey, and Millie's mage level increases. Nice. All right, very good. Okay, one more enemy I'm looking for. Let's see if I can find it. Ah, there's the enemy I'm looking for, the Murking. He ain't the king of me. I'll show you that. Ha, see? Thought he was a king. Jackass. All right, very good. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. Now let's go where we're gonna go next. <laughs> okay, now one more enemy I wanna try to find on the sea, and hopefully I can find him. I may have to do some looking around to see if I can find him, but I'll find him eventually. Well, I'll take a level from Millie. That'll be good. Ooh, good increase in the HP. Hey, and Lizzie's Paladin level increases, and now she learns double up. Ha <laughs> ha! And BCS Buster becomes a national hero. So whatever country you're in, he's now the hero of your country. And he learns Kazap. Oh, sweet. Hey, and Carver's Liquid Metal Slime level increases, and he learns Kaklang. So that could be helpful, I suppose. Hey, Ashling is a warrior level, and she learns double-edged slash. Cool. I'm over, trying over here now. Man, Terry's Paladin level increases. Ah! And he learns forbearance, which can be really helpful. That's not the person I really want to have learn it, but that's helpful. And Amos' Ranger level increases, and he learns Dazzle Flash. Cool. Okay, well, I was having troubles finding it. It was a killer wave. Um, if you find one of those, cool. They're somewhere in the sea, but... Uh, anyways, we got the majority of the enemies that I wanted defeated, so that's good. And now we are ready to move on and tackle the next area. But what dangers await us in the next optional dungeon? Where is the next optional dungeon? You'll have to next time to find out. So then this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash BCS Buster. Check out all the ways you can support the channel in the video description below. Not only using those promo codes help save you money, they help me grow the channel as well. And until the next time we meet, take care, y'all. It's going to be fun. Trust me. <laughs>